Warm seas, beautifully colored by coral reefs. A coral's body consists of polyps that resemble actinia. Polyps survive by extending their tentacles to eat plankton. However, the coral which forms coral reefs inhabits relatively shallow waters, harmoniously coexisting with microorganisms called zooxanthellae. Zooxanthellae conduct photosynthesis using the carbon dioxide and ammonia produced by coral, while the host coral receives the resultant photosynthate. While there are various theories as to how coral utilizes the photosynthate produced by zooxanthellae, it is clear that it plays a vital role in the coral's life, providing the coral with supplementary nutrients and accelerating skeletal growth. For some reason, coral that has had its zooxanthellae removed actually whitens and dies off. Coral and zooxanthellae work symbiotically to create our beautiful coral reefs. Sunlight is a vital ingredient for photosynthesis. However, the blazing sun of the seaside contains a significant amount of life-threatening UV radiation. Zooxanthellae synthesize a special protein to protect its body from this UV radiation. You can observe a fluorescence phenomenon by illuminating coral reefs with an ultraviolet light at night. This is caused by the activation of the zooxanthellae's UV protective protein. Coral that is whitened due to a lack of zooxanthellae does not generate this fluorescent emission. Recent research points out that the UV protective protein of zooxanthellae may be closely interconnected with the coral's life cycle. And this is directly related to the ultraviolet radiation contained in moonlight at night. Around June every year, when the water temperature becomes approximately 25 degrees, coral create an egg sperm bundle. As the full moon approaches and the nighttime ultraviolet radiation increases, coral release these bundles in unison. This spawning is, so to speak, how coral lay their eggs. While the relationship between spawning and the phases of the moon is pointed out for many organisms, the UV sensor observed in zooxanthellae and coral is sure to bring us a step closer to understanding this mysterious phenomenon. Zooxanthellae are vulnerable to high temperatures and cannot live in seawater that exceeds 30 degrees. This means that there is a mere five degree difference between the appropriate temperature for coral spawning and that which zooxanthellae can withstand. In recent years, ocean temperatures have risen due to global warming and there has been an increase in coral whitening. The beautiful seascape produced by coral reefs collapses with the slightest change in the natural balance.
A protein sensor sensitively catches even the minutest of changes in the UV radiation contained in moonlight. A seawater temperature sensor that gauges delicate balances. Living organisms possess phenomenal sensors, allowing them to create diverse and beautiful worlds within the exquisite balance of the natural world. Humans do not have such refined sensors with which to measure the natural world. However, humankind possesses the power of analysis, one that goes beyond our natural limitations. The protection of this diverse and beautiful Earth through the analysis of nature is a mission that has been entrusted to humankind.